Hello. I invite you to watch this video tutorial, during which you will learn how to connect the Volcano EC air heater. Let's open the EC engine to connect our device. I opened the engine and now I can see the EC terminal block. The electronically commutated motor needs a single phase power supply, so the phase neutral and ground wires are connected here. To control the motor's RPM, connect a 010 volt wire and a ground wire for this connection. Inputs A, B, and G, N, D give us direct connection to the external BMS system, which is made possible by using the Modbus RTU protocol. Now let's connect the single phase power supply. The recommended wire diameter is 1.5 millimeters squared, and with these wires, we will now connect our engine. Neutral wire. Phase wire. And ground wire. At this point, we have completed the single phase power supply connection. Now let's connect a 010 volt DC control signal. Control signal 010 volt requires cables with a much smaller cross section. Recommended crossings are 0.5 to 0.75 millimeters squared. Now let's connect and ground the control signal. The wires connected in this way allows us to close the back of the enclosure and now we can proceed to the connecting of the Volcano EC controller. Now let's connect the Volcano EC controller. As you can see, we have three terminal blocks, J1, J2, and J3. Terminal J3 is responsible for the connection to the external BMS control system. Terminal J2 and the first two inputs are responsible for connecting the control signal and its grounding. The other two inputs allow us to connect an external NTC temperature sensor. On the J1 terminal, we have phase input, neutral input, and the possibility of connecting the valves. Now connect the single phase power supply to the Volcano EC controller, phase wire and neutral wire. After connecting the single phase power supply, we proceed to connect a 010 volt control signal and its grounding. Control signal 010 volt DC and its grounding. Now that we have connected the Volcano EC controller, we can run it. Devices with EC engines are characterized by the simplicity and ease of connection. To connect other devices, we need a single phase power supply and a 010 volt control signal. Devices with EC engines allow us to connect with the external BMS system by using the Modbus RTU protocol. Thank you very much for your attention. And I invite you to watch another video tutorial during which you will learn how to program the Volcano EC controller.